Mm. Mm. I can't wait to use these features on my next project. Good move, Filmora. Good move. You might have seen the latest episode that I released for Wondershare Filmora tutorials wherein they invited me to test out their Wondershare Filmora 12 beta version and in this video I am going to reveal two of the awesome highlights that can help you out to make your video editing easier. You might have been using a photo editing tool wherein you can cut out your subject from the background but Wondershare Filmora can also do this not just for photos but also for your videos. And with this feature, you can actually select and cut out the subject that you want to use on a selected clip. There are also several available preview ways. The selection overlay, transparent grid, transparent black, and alpha. The only thing you need to do is select your video clip, click your video on the timeline, go to your video, hit on AI tools, scroll it down and just look for the smart cutout. Tick the navigation button on the left and click start smart cutout and you will be redirected to a dialog box. Select the part of your clip where you wanted to cut out the subject from its background. Once you've already selected your clip, just go to the upper right hand corner of your dialog box, just hover your mouse and click preview mode. Either you can choose between alpha overlay, transparent grid, transparent black, or alpha. In this case, I'll be choosing toggle transparency grid. Once you've clicked it, your subject will be selected and separated from the background. Once you're already contented with your cutout, just click start smart cutout. And the only thing you need to do is wait for the processing to be finished. Second is the AI audio stretch. So this tool will allow you to retime your audio intelligently to match the duration of your video. Instead of cutting and trimming your music bar on the timeline, the only thing you need to do is click your audio and head to the upper part of the timeline, click audio stretch. Now there will be a keyframe on the very first part of your timeline for the music is stretch out that keyframe all throughout the part that you wanted to keep. And once you're done, release your mouse button and it will be automatically stretched out on its own. So once you play it, the part that you wanted to keep will be playing on a loop instead of trimming them out and pasting them for multiple times. Easy as that. And aside from the AI features of the Wondershare Filmora 12, finally they have also created another set of features and updates for their masking and keyframing features, which will also make another set of tutorial videos on the upcoming episodes on this channel. And based on the features that I have revealed here in this video, Filmora invites us to guess the main keywords here in this new version. They have given me four hints. Efficiency, freedom, creativity, and inspiration. And you guys can leave your answers in the comment section below. Which of these words do you guys think the version 12 fit the most? And if you guys wanted to try the beta version of the Wondershare Filmora 12, you guys can join on the public beta test via the link that I'll be putting on the description box below. And by making your reaction videos on the Wondershare Filmora 12 beta version and submitting also your feedbacks regarding your test, you guys can actually get rewards from the Wondershare Filmora team. I guess that's about it. And stay tuned for the next coming episodes here in my channel. And this has been Alex. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.